It was saying that even two years ago you were contemplating quitting running. Yep. <laughs> I'm still. <laughs> yeah. But no. yeah. So maybe just talk about that kind of mindset again. I mean, now you're having so much success. There's you no. Know, it's. It's hard for me to see. You know, if I'm not making, you know, a killing out of it that will sustain me for the rest of my life, then, and the other side is, you know, have another passion. I, I like to be an RN, and I'm looking forward to doing that in the future, for sure. You know, that was, that was the whole point for me, going to school, and just have waited for so long to do that, and then I got to put it up aside again. <laughs> so I'm still looking forward to it. And, so. Financially, I mean, last year must have been very good for you, right? It was. It was. You know, it's that's probably that's why this guy doesn't have a job. He has the job I give him. So, <laughs> so it's been a blessing for sure for both of us. And to talk a little bit about the training, I mean, there's more expectations this year after last year, and how do you see this race and then Boston? You know, Boston? this. Probably not on my side. I take every every race as I was telling you that you know I take every race seriously. So I don't every I have the same pressure for every race for myself. Other people might be different, but you know I'm just gonna go out there. The training has been going well, and I think I'm I'm where I'm supposed to be at this time of the year. And I think I'll just keep getting better for sure. What's your goal for the half? Uh, goal is hopefully I can place better than last year. Here on the other side, I'm still toying about that. So yeah, we'll see. And what about Boston? Uh, not doing Boston. Oh, you're not. No. Uh, I don't know why I thought that. I think everybody does. I think everybody wants me to do it. No. <laughs> so is there no marathon in this no. spring? No marathon. So. You never were signed up for Boston? No. I don't know why I thought. I thought all the Americans were doing it. <laughs> Probably that's why. <laughs> no, I never did. I don't know. Back to the track after Yes, probably. Oh, maybe this is the. Must have been the three you made the team or something, and then they yes, just out. And I was thinking, like, oh, you're the best one still running right now, so. <laughs> or one of them. So, With yeah. Desi out and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Do you still dabble in roads and track? Yes, I do. I feel like that's. The roads give, gives me strength, you know, which I need, and, you know, I'm not going to be the best out person to outkick anybody out there, but, you know, I'm going to get myself ready to run a good race and a tough race and, you know, put myself out there for sure, you know, so, yeah. And if you, will you just go straight from this into the track season, or is there going to be a, kind of a break? No, it's just straight, just mix up everything so yeah and then will you try to do a fall marathon you think yes I should. definitely that should be my you know in the future but I don't know which one yet and Jay was saying your shorter distance stuff really kind of took off with the marathon training yes, it does and even at this even right now you know I'm still close to you know I'd say maybe 20% less than what I was doing in the marathon but almost the same so I feel like that's where my strength is so it gives me all the strength and I still run a lot of races without falling apart yeah so so this keeps me together for a long time, so, so I shouldn't be off that for sure. And the 15K, that obviously went very well. Yes, it did. You know, it went better than I thought for me. <laughs> so, yeah, I think the, I was really surprised when the guys did catch me. You know, I was looking at my watch and thinking, I'm going to run close to 50. There's no way. I, I'm going to pull this one off, and for sure, I pulled it off. And, you know. How close do they get? 
They were even, I think it was about 17, no? 20 something seconds. So, uh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Jay was also saying when, when you came to America, the coach thought you were a 208, 800 meter runner, yeah. and you were had run 20 minutes for 5K. Yeah. But he said yeah. like your attitude was great. It was like I gotta beat these girls up. Yeah, and you know, I think I every race I entered, I got better all the time, and I think that gave me more confidence as I went through. And the one thing with me, when I just decided to do something, I just wanna do it to the best of my ability, and I just did that, and I got better all the time. It worked out well for both the school coach and me. So from going from barely nine, high 19 minute park runner to running 60, 19, in college in four, four years, so that was good. What year did you get out? I got out in 05. So it's been kind of a steady progression. Cause it was. Jay was saying then your road racing was a good part-time job after that. It was. You know, I had a full-time job and then just winning the local races, it gave me a little bit of confidence to go to, like, I had one big race every year and that was Cooper even Bridgeman. I just trained for it and I just wanted to go there. I love the city. I raced well there. And I just went back every year until I was beating all these other ladies, and I would look at the results in other places and thinking, wow, they went and ran that race and won it, and I beat them. And so that just put it in my mind that, oh, maybe you should try a little bigger races. And I did. Do you ever think, sit back and kind of think, I don't know if the, what the right word is, kind of how far you've come? I mean, U.S. Olympic team, yeah. I mean, all oh, this is in about <laughs> 10 years you're back in Kenya kind of running 19 minutes for 5k yeah. and so I cannot even if you had asked me in January of last year if I would make the team you know it was great I, I was feeling great my marathon training had gone really well I, I had an amazing coach amazing family that really believed in me and they made me feel like you know you could do this you could run under 230 and because that's funny I had said if I ever run under 70 or under 230 I will never take another step because I don't want to ruin it so <laughs> so I've done both and I'm still running so I thought okay so they really made me believe that you know you could break that and you could run well but at the same time what I have idolized all these people, Dean, Chilean, Kara, Daisy, and I thought, I don't even have a chance, so, and not even having a chance, everybody thought, hmm, you might have a shot, but my only shot was, you know, if somebody else screwed up, then I'll be there to get in the team, but I didn't even think in a million years I would, and then come back even to the track that I had not run in six years, almost seven years, and make the team was just like, whoa, you know what, maybe God has a plan. This is not what I planned at all, so, you know, I just leave it up to him, and keep rolling with the bunches and enjoying it. Yeah, it's going well. So, yeah. That's definitely impressive from afar. Good luck this weekend. Thank you so much.